We're back. Linda Keeper with us uh, this morning to tell us about a couple of events hosted by VFW Post 1736. Hard to believe that 9-11 uh, happened 15 years yeah, ago. 15 There's a big uh, event uh, coming up Sunday on to Sunday, commemorate yes. that. At the VFW Post, we yeah. will have uh, a, a nice program for uh, to remember all those people. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate to have um, both mayors, the mayor of Alexandria and the mayor of Pineville, right. and Rabbi Task and Father Jose to be guest speakers for us. So that's mm -hmm. pretty impressive lineup. So I hope lots of people will come out to Sounds like a nice program. Listen to them, yes. And it's a day that I think we should all remember because we're sure, sure. still not in a very good place. Yeah, uh, this happened, uh, okay, the, the program itself is going to be Sunday. Tell us, At just 2 take us, yeah, walk us through the program. Well, we mostly it will be, I will welcome everyone and mm -hmm. introduce the different guests that we will have. And uh, then the pledge will be led by our commander, Tom Slater. And uh, one of our young youth members is going to sing the national anthem. And then the invocation will be given by Father Jose. And then our guest speakers will speak and be given as gotcha. much time as they want. And then we have a candlelight ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, and the commander will light the candles and I will explain what, what every candle is being lit for, which there's a great deal to cover yeah, yeah. And there. And we will have some displays to kind of emphasize these things so that people can understand the significance, the of, each significance of each candle because okay. the, you know we lost babies to very high mm -hmm. dignitaries that day so we you know it's a lot to be remembered yeah yes, and then sir. coming up later this month middle of september you have a run for a vet yes event tell us about that Family well fun event yes i hope so uh -huh. this is uh, my first attempt at something like this <laughs> and i think i might have overstepped the line but i'm hoping it will be successful mm -hmm. it's going to be i'm i'm the president of the auxiliary and this is okay. really an auxiliary project yeah and it's our way of raising funds for the projects that we do throughout the year. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that um, people will sign up. And, uh, okay. It's, it's, it's just a two-mile run. It's not that long. It's not long, and, and it's to walk so that families can come out. Yeah, you can run or walk it, right? Yeah. Yes, you yeah. can run or walk it. We'll start with the run, mm -hmm. and then the walk will follow. Okay, well, at, walk us through what we can experience, what we'll expect at, at the walk. Well, I hope a lot of fun, and I hope a lot of people, yeah. and we'll, um, APD is bit kindly, actually, they routed yeah. the walk for me. So. Oh, wonderful. What's the best way to register for the... There for the is the, that, uh, they can call me at... Okay, well, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got yeah they can the call screen. me, or they can call Anne as a dog lover. Mm -hmm. dot com. <laughs> and Linda, where is the BFW post located? At 701 Veterans Drive, which uh -huh. is just across the bridge, across from the Pentecostal Church. Gotcha. So it's very easy to find. Yeah, yes, sure it is. is. Very, very well, we're easy. We're so glad you joined us this so, morning on Good Day Soon Law. Thank yeah. you so much for oh, being with thank us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate Patriots Day it. program on September 11th, of course. Run for a vet September 17th. Well, thank you so much. Listen you. to John DeCairo in just a few minutes. Stay with us.